And I'm back. Okay then. Now what? Make some money, I guess, for a starter. Find some healthcare and get some factories. Although, yeah, you guys probably had a point. <laughs> I don't think I had the literacy to actually... Um, to actually get any factories. But I do have the will to eventually invade Albania. Yeah, I don't have a truce with them, so we just need to burn some infamy. Yeah, you know what? Let's get biologists. I'm, I'm gonna let the uh, education side of the coin win this time. Because that Darwinism is just that good. Let's see, I guess I will have to do something with my influence over here just so that it, you know... Just so I don't have to deal with that pop-up. Don't like how this was. Yeah, I should have worked harder to sphere um, Milan. Are they having pan nationalists though? <coughs> Why specifically my. <coughs> Why specifically my capital? But yeah, you do have a point that I should go back to clergy. Now that the national emergency has passed, I'll see, I gotta unmobilize. Uh, Venice is already at uh, like 40%. Yeah, they already have quite good uh, literacy. I don't think I need to invest too much more work in that. Largest population. Yeah, but but as far as I understand it, the um, the literacy or the the gain of literacy from clergymen only affects the population in the local province. And as the Venetians are already, I mean, they already have the literacy they need to work in factories and to get, you know, clerks and shit like that. It seems to me more worth it to try and focus on provinces that haven't reached that level yet. Oh yeah, you do also have a point. It's actually, yeah, okay, huh. I didn't do that. Yeah, it's actually quite high in a lot of these provinces. Maybe I'd encourage it there a bit further. Also, you seem to know this game. Um, do national focuses affect non-accepted pops? Like at all? They do? Because I was told by someone that that oh, Treaty of Ceylon abolished. What, what's that? Does that uh, affect the international community thing? Well, now I wonder where I learned about that then. Okay, they were just Jacobins. Oh, fascism. Where are you? Okay, there's some reactionaries, though. They technically exist. Part of me really wants to build or to encourage more soldiers, though. Because at this point, the problem is that I, like, I, yeah, you know what? I need more soldiers. It's a sad reality, but I really do need more soldiers. 
Because at this point, I, I like I need more soldiers to fight uh, rebels, basically. Because at this point, I want to just let the uh, militancy go up. I really want to see those reactionaries. I want to. I mean, I guess I already I'm already basically a democracy, so. The odds of becoming a monarchy are so low, though. You can get clergymen fast if they aren't educated to begin with. There's a there are there's a level of momentum. There is. So the lower the uh, literacy in a province, the more clergymen you get. Just non-accepted bureaucrats had fewer bonuses, right? Yeah, like, I, I thought that non-accepted bureaucrats didn't even matter. I thought they, they didn't really impact anything at all. Because why else do provinces without any of your pops in them have shit, uh... Oh. Did my stream die? No. But the stream on my preview thing just died. If there is one country you shouldn't feel bad about being a monarchy, is Venice. Yeah, but the Merchant Republic just died. When I accepted the Greeks, I got... Or a part of the price I paid to accept Greek culture was to abolish the Merchant Republic and just become a normal one. For some reason, the normal Republic keeps electing the uh, reactionaries. Which the Merchant one never did, but... It is still a very bad loss and sad one at that. On the Patriots. See, this is why I need soldiers to fight this kind of crap. Their boats. Their boats. Because, like, the democracy or the republicanism of Venice was, like, true old-fashioned republicanism. Because historically, I mean, there's a reason democracy and republicanism aren't synonyms. It meant different things. Republicanism is, uh, you know, is the thing that the United States is based on. It's about the elites having power, not the plebs. I'll see. I guess Milan was just kicked out of the sphere of... Oh god damn it, Albain. But dude, I just killed you guys. What the fuck? Like, can you not? Not accepted cultures convert to bureaucrats much slower. Yeah, because as I said, don't they. Do they even convert to bureaucrats? I thought the only way to get bureaucrats of a non accepted culture was to inherit them from a previous nation. The plebs, but. Nice in Venice. Oh, the the plebs put the niece in Venice. Is that a meme that I don't get? Or oh no! Stop! These are not these are not supposed to be my Jacobins. These are like these Turkish rebels. Like I inherited this militancy from the Turks. This really should not be my problem.
check the code eventually. Hmm. I don't understand. I, they have the universal voting rights. What the hell do the liberals have that they... Or what, like, what are they lacking here? Also, I'm still stuck at regionalism. Yeah, I need to deal with that. How do I get unitary? Or federalism, maybe. Yeah, federalism is actually really powerful. That's a nice militancy reduction. Is a union of... Oh. Okay, I guess I can't get that. Okay, I need revolution and counter-revolution. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. I wish I knew how to piss off the reactionaries specifically. Also, what the hell? These Turks or these rebels didn't even spawn in my land. Who gave them access? Also, hey, the Turks actually moved their capital. I was kind of worried they weren't going to do that. Yeah, we can take Constantinople in the next war then. Very nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck this mod, why do I even play this shit? Play this shit. I honestly don't know. What is it about every mod except HPM and Rebels? Piss off reactionaries by implanting social policies? Well, I did. I guess technically they did get some supporters, but... It's like 8,000 of them. There's nothing compared to the whole. Well... Yeah, I think I'll just have to embrace fascism, sadly. Oh. I guess I'm at least not the only one struggling with rebels. But yeah, I don't actually want to uh, sphere Milan. I still want to see if that CB... Um, If that CB from uh, the base game is in the game, which is something I was going to check actually, but I forgot. Because as you, every action provokes reaction. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, the odds of, like, if I get, even even if I can get reactionaries, the odds of them actually rising up in Venice itself are pretty low. I'm not even gaining that much militancy in the first place. The people keep electing reactionary uh, government, though. I don't know why. 1,500 hours in the game, and I just honestly have no idea. So yeah, um, let's get some factories. So these guys just make tobacco. I didn't. I I thought you couldn't grow tobacco in Europe. I thought it had to be like tropical and shit. I guess not. I'm gonna make sure every province has like a factory in it, just so that, you know, if any workers spawn, they at least have somewhere to go. So I don't, I don't know why I'm building sawmills, which is like the least profitable factory in the game, but... Haiti's now a colony, not a state. How did you... Uh, I guess you edited it. Yeah, 
Gonna make this into another like explosive factory thing. One thing I learned from one thing I've learned from uh, multiplayer is to actually have some domestic uh, military goods production. Play HBM. I wonder how the global market behave sin this mod compared to Vanilla Victoria 2. Hmm. I don't know. Is there any like uh, way to check that? All right, let's get inorganic chemistry, and then we need to get nationalism and imperialism. And then we'll check if uh, if we can annex Milan for cheap. Because if I can use the national unification CB, then I I won't have to, um, or I w I won't need to actually. Uh, I won't have to form Italy to annex Italy, if you know what I mean. So I like how these rebels here are just basically stuck. <laughs> oh god, they're... Oh no, they're replicating. Ah shit, I'm gonna have to fight this army of rebels, aren't I? If I give access to these guys, will they then... Uh... Okay, well, they, they don't even want it. See, they get to be a presidential dictatorship. Why do these guys get reactionaries and I don't? I don't, I don't get it. Oh, they have one potential brigade, though. Doesn't say where they would rise, though. If you do Ak want to go fascist without the prestige class... Um... Of a hostile tech or move towards proportional representation so it's easier for the fascists to get in via coalition. Uh, yeah. That's probably true. Or the the way I usually do it is uh, I just spam uh, I spam party loyalty. Yeah, what do I even have? I have... Um, yeah, I already have based on population actually. I was forced to have that. Play HPM. Oh, dude, I just killed you guys. Also, this general is not exactly suited for this. So it seems that while other rebels are in the province, the rebels or the Turkish rebels can use that to move through. Interesting. And, uh, what? I was going to say, at this rate, we should be turning this into a, uh, a Greek province from all the Turks we're killing, but no, it's the opposite. For some reason, the percentage of Turks in Izmir... Also, it's not Izmir, it's supposed to be Shmirna. Why isn't it called Shmirna? Shmirna does not sound like a very Greek name to me, but I'm told that that's the Greek name of Izmir. Oh shit, Macedonian nationalists. Oh yeah, I'm into that. It just helps to speed up alongside party. Yeah, okay. Well, I still want to be a monarchy, but... Fascism is like the closest thing I can get to it without uh, without actually becoming it. As far as I know. Oh. I thought you guys were friends. What happened? Scandinavian restoration. Oh. Oh, what? Did you become great power? No? Okay, some kind of political change happened here. For some reason, Hungary decided to ditch Bohemia and ally Scandinavia instead. Look at Thrace. Yeah, what the hell? Thrace is becoming more Turkish too. Is this like craftsman bug or what's happening here?
There's no craftsmen, so it could be that. Why? I mean, it's not like this is anything new, but it's still annoying. Hi, Declas Virgin. Hungry is hungry. Soon your primary. Eh, fucking. Maybe I should just switch. Embrace Turkishness. True progressive. I doubt it. This is not H HFM. Yeah, no, no migration. Well, I guess maybe internal migration is what you meant. There's no migration here, no. Everyone is just yeeting themselves over to the new world. Also, look at Plantagenia being thick. Dang. Yeah, they freed their slaves, and now they're getting thick. They lost their monarchy, though. I think they started as a monarchy, anyway. Also, I have zero Jesus. That was fast. Let's make sure we get some infamy again. Although, I mean, I've been fighting a civil war all this time, so... Oh, look at that, yeah. Independent Macedonia. Okay. I guess we can invade them as well. Should be straightforward enough. Yeah, as long as they don't get influenced by anyone. There you go, Darwinism. Oh, baby. Two possible reactionaries, though. Genocide. Can't do that for another 15 years. And I'm a democracy, and democracy is... Ah, oh, come on, really? Really? If there was one CB I wanted to get lucky on, it was the Conquest one. I wonder how to fix the Craftsman bug. I think that's hard-coded, so... The HPM guy is pretty, like, famous for wanting... Or for, like, working to fix those kinds of things. So I doubt that's even a thing you can deal with. Also, I should spare Valachia and Moldavia. So <laughs> Valachia has elected the Ancaps. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna have another round of Turkish Patriots. Somehow the Turkish Patriots rising up kills Greek people and not Turks. The absolute state of this mod. So I'm making pretty good cash. So I'm gonna reduce taxes on the lower classes. I was told by some meme lord that that actually increases pop growth, but I'm not sure I buy that. PLC has centralized slightly. Uh, have they? This doesn't count, by the way. This is some land they conquered from the Khanates. I think I'm gonna let. Yeah, we're gonna actually do some quick bureaucrat encouragements just to feel better about myself. Something like that. So, yeah, in any province. Well, I guess I, I'm, I'm encouraging them in provinces with Greeks in them. And I guess. Well, yeah, I guess we did agree that. Um, that you can't encourage non accepted pops to. Uh, to uh, become uh, bureaucrats. They haven't the color just off? Oh. <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams there, mates. See, these guys have reactionaries. They're a presidential dictatorship as well, so they get to be a kingdom, and I don't. The absolute unfairness of all of this. Feels very bad, man. There we go, though. Now we get nationalism and imperialism. Also, shit. Okay, yeah. No one has become friendly with the uh, Albanians, so that's cool. 
Should be able to swoop in here. Also, I'm not huge on this whole Albanian navy thing. Where's my navy? There's my navy. Let's try and fight that. Ideology should have a unique bonus to make them more playable. What do you mean? Different ideologies. Yeah, no, I can't think of what you meant there. Because they actually have some nice... Nice. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have just charged in there. This was actually a huge mistake. Run. For whatever reason, I assume those were just going to be transports. Also, I need horses. Horses and artillery. I wish you could sometimes just set like. Um, I wish you could just set it so that like, like if I have enough influence to increase my influence, then automatically increase it. You know. Ideologies have characteristics, like some allow you to build industry, some don't, and can affect your taxes. Yeah. They should have a bit more to them than that. What more, though? I mean, different ideologies lets you have different... Uh, I mean, they do give you bonuses to an extent, like, for example... Because I have reactionaries, I can do economic nationalism, which gives me a, a bonus tariff money and a bonus to my industrial technology. So, you know. I wish there was more depth to a planned economy rather than just you have to do everything by yourself. Yeah. That definitely sounds like it could be cool. In here. Kill these Albanian dogs. 